So let's see some more examples related to the DFA. And let's say the language is given as W, where W is element of AB star and mod uh, w, W's length mod 3 is equals to 0. It means uh, the 3 length string will be accepted, the 6 length string will be accepted, 9 length string will be accepted, and so on and so forth. The meaning of this is that uh, 1 length string will be rejected, or 2 length string will be rejected. Similarly, 4 length string will be rejected, and 5 length string will be rejected, and so on and so forth. So last time we have already designed an automata design in which w mod w, uh, sorry, length of w mod 2 is was equal to 0. So if you remember the automata, the smallest automata or the uh, minimal DFA was on q0 on ab, you were moving to the state q1 and then on getting a and b in the state q1, you were moving to state number q0. So with this, you can say that uh, any string which is uh, which has a length 2 uh, length two will be accepted. Any string which is having the length 4 will be accepted. Any string which is having length 6 will be accepted. But uh, so 2, 4, 6 or 0 length string is also accepted. But 1, 3, 5 length string will be rejected. So you can also say that this is if this is the final state. It means if Q0 is the final state, this is representing length of a string mod 2 is equals to 0. And Q1 is representing length of a string mod 2 is equals to 1. So if, if I have to design the automata for a language in which it is said that the length of the string mod 2 is equals to 1, then I should make Q1 as a final state instead of Q0. Now here it is saying that we have uh, the length of a string mod 3 is equals to 0. So with the same idea that we had in the uh, mod 2 is equals to 0, I can make three different states here, q0, q1, and q2, out of which I will keep the q0 state at the final state because the zero length string is also should be, uh, the zero length string should also be accepted. So on getting a and b, I should move to q1. Again on getting a and b, I should move to q2. And then on getting a and b, I should move to q0 state. So the length, 0 string, 1 and 2, then counting by 3, 4 and 5, and then length 6, length 7, length 8. So 0, 3, 6 length string will be accepted by the state Q0. Now if it is said that the language is, uh, let's say this language is L1 and the L2 language is uh, where the length of a string mod 3 is equals to 1. In that case, I will make Q1 state as the final state instead of Q0. Similarly, if the L3 string is there, where the length of the string mod 3 is equals to 2, in that case, I will make Q2 state as the final state. This also gives me an idea about if I am saying that the length of the string mod 4 is equals to 0, then I will make 4 state Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3 out of which I will make the state Q0 as the final state. And then if it is mod 4 is equals to 1, I will make the state Q1 as the final state. Similarly, if mod 4 is 2, then I will make Q2 as the final state. So I hope that you have got an idea about how to make the minimal DFA for the length of the string divisible by any number. Thanks for watching this video. We will continue our discussion on the DFA in the subsequent lectures also.